All right. Hey, welcome everyone to the uh, TestMute Conference 2023, the second edition of the flagship testing event, probably presented by Lambda Test. So we'll be starting off soon. I just want to make sure we get everyone joining. We have a huge, huge, huge turnout, hopefully a huge crowd. So I want to give people time to log in and get ready for what's going to be a three-day event of a lot of awesomeness going on. So, hey, everyone, good to see you all here. Like I said, I'm going to give it a few seconds before we jump into it, make sure Everyone is ready to go and uh, see what's going on in the chat here. Wow, chat is slamming already. We have Vivek. Hey, everyone. Kishla, Banuth, Raman. All right. Wow, a lot of people. Awesome. Hey, 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 hey. All right, we'll be starting shortly. I just want to give it like one more minute before we kick it off officially. I want to give people time to join. There are a lot of people joining. I don't know if I could tell, but... Uh, I think we have over 600 or 700 so far logging in to join us. So that's awesome. All right. We have Ecuador here. Cool, cool. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Nice. Hello. Hey, Rajesh. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, Kodak. Argentina is here. Nice. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's... uh. Let me stop the confetti, but uh, before I, I stop it, I just want to celebrate and welcome everyone to, once again, the TestView Conference 2023, which is the second edition, the second one of the flagship testing event, which is probably presented by Lambda Test. Great to have you all here. Let me turn off the confetti, turn the tunes down before we get going. So how's everyone doing? So we want to make this as interactive as possible. I can already tell you all are going to be interacting. I already see a meme here of a cat. So in order to make it as interactive as possible, we do it by using the chat and it seems like everyone's in the chat. So there's two ways of communicating when you're in session. One is chat and one is asking questions. So when you start a session with a speaker, you would use the Q and A, it's to the left and there's a little toolbar. And the chat is where we'll chat among ourselves during the session. If you had a question about the conference or anything else like that, you wanna use the feed but the feed should only be done outside of the session. So anytime you're in session like now, you want to be using the chat feature. So because we want to make this interactive as possible, so we want you to warm up your fingers and let us know where you're all from in the chat. So I'm from East Tennessee right now. I want to see where everyone else is from. I've seen Argentina. I see Romania here, India, Canada. Uh, should be a worldwide Philippines. It's going so fast. Poland is here, Spain, Dan, Greece, India. Lafia, Virginia, USA, Argentina, UK, India, awesome. And that's what, you know, Lambda Test, I know, was starting off what they want this to be, a worldwide community. Uh, and I can tell by the chat here, Brazil, Lambda, uh, India, uh, India, India, uh, Florida, USA, Nigeria. It's going to be a great Turkey. All right, cool. Canada, UK, Croatia, US. All right, so it is a international awesomest fest. So I love... I love it. So I'm sure like not only do we have speakers that are experts, I'm sure everyone in the chat is an expert in something as well. So we highly encourage you to share your knowledge in the chat with everyone else while we go along because we want this to be not just us giving you information, but having you kind of work with us to make it more of a community-driven event where everyone's interacting with one another. So good. Everyone's using Pakistan is here. I didn't realize how big Pakistan was, uh, uh, but it's huge uh, based on, on my YouTube stats. So that's awesome. Sedan. All right, Poland, Poland. All right, cool, cool. So um, for those that don't know, uh, I want to say thank you, everyone using the chat. Chaz, we're going to be chatting among ourselves. Uh, I was actually part of last year's event, moderating a roundtable session, and I had an awesome time. And one of the reasons why, is, why was because of you all, as I could tell in this chat, you're going to be, it's going to be a great, great three days. Um, also, I've been, I'll be, uh, I'll be honest, I've been a huge fan of Manoj Kumar Kumar. He's one of my favorite all-time open source contributors. He's contributed to like uh, like Serenity, Appium, Selenium, you know, a bunch of them. And he's awesome. And he also is the VP of Developer Relations at Lambda Test. So I want to start off by giving a big round of applause to uh, Manoj Kumar Kumar. So thank you, Manoj, for inviting me here. It's an honor to kick off this year's event and be moderating a session with Babu from Testleaf. Uh, later today. So uh, thank you, everyone. Cool, cool. Big round of applause for Manoj and everyone at Lambda Test for putting this together. Very cool. Malaysia is here. Awesome. Uh, for those of that you that don't know, I'm Joe Calantonio. I'm founder of Test Guild, as you can tell by all my Test Guild swag. 
It's basically a community dedicated to automation testing. So we focus on helping testers stay up to date with all the latest tools, techniques, and help you with testing with you know free podcasts, webinars, courses, and conferences. We kind of like to think of ourselves as an independent resource. So we're just like, like kind of a one person uh, team uh, that curates the best of the best in tools, software, knowledge, services, and all things test automation related. So really, and one of the uh, tools that we'd like to watch is obviously Lambda Test. So it's great to be once again, an honor to be hosting this year's or kicking off this year's event. Really great. I've also been in the trenches of testing for over 25 years. So I started off as a performance testing engineer and then really became more of a tool smith, like automation tools, automation uh, and testing type person. And that's really been my bread and butter all these years. So really great to be here. Awesome, awesome, great to have you all here. So it's great to have everyone here today as we embark on a journey of, uh, it's really gonna be, as you can tell by the lineup, innovative, collaborative, and we're really gonna be exploring the dynamic realm of software testing. A lot of different different topics going on that I think you really wanna pay attention to, and you really wanna make the most out of this three-day event. It's free, so make sure you make the most out of it and check out all the sessions. To see all the sessions and the schedule, if you don't know, there's a view schedule on top here, so if you want to know what's going on today, tomorrow, the next day, just click on that view schedule and you'll be able to hop into whenever the session is live. So hopefully you're all able to see that. Cool, cool. I'm just looking at the chat, make sure everyone's good here. All right. Yeah, people are still coming in. Hello, everyone. Awesome. So as you know, in recent times, especially if you're into software testing, and our QA leaders from startups, big companies, and open source projects are all really pushing quality assurance forward by trying out new and wild, wild, wild ideas to improve testing. You've probably been hearing a lot about machine learning and AI. I, I've been working for a test company that I have of my own. I have companies uh, giving me demos all the time of all these crazy solutions. So, uh, you know, you always need to be researching. And not just when things go wrong, but also to keep up with software development and make sure what's what's working, what's not working. And there's a lot of different things that are going on. So you need to make sure you're aware of what's going on and what's happening, where all these great ideas are coming from. And you need a platform. So that's where TestMu comes in. It really aims to bring everyone together to create a collaborative space and let the community help shape testing for the future. And I can tell it's very collaborative because everyone is in the chat blowing up. So that's awesome. So that's why TestMu was created to be not just a conference, but also more of a community, a collaborative space. So we really want you to collaborate, we want to hear your voices. So make sure you interact with us during these three days with all the sessions, with your chats, with your live questions for the speakers. It's going to be great. Uh, I know it's going to be great because last year, I think TestMu witnessed, uh, you know, in 2022, I think they had over 6,000 attendees. And they shared a bunch of different awesome, passionate talks around testing excellence. They had a bunch of speakers, I think 47 speakers from the testing community worldwide. And they really brought a lot of insight and wisdom. So I really enjoyed last year. And it really was a true testament to the event's global reach. I think they saw attendees for over 105 countries. As I can tell by the chat, I think we're going to top it for sure. I think at the end of the event, you know, they'll share some statistics with you, but I'm pretty sure they blew out both the number of attendees and folks from different countries coming to really create an unparalleled atmosphere of cross-cultural exchange and knowledge sharing. So really excited about that. Uh, also, last I checked this year, I think they had close to 20,000 attendees registered. So crazy round of applause for everyone that's been here. Took time out of your day to join an event on testing. That's awesome. Also, there is a code of conduct for this event, even though it is it's online. And I think someone just dropped it in the chat. They're also going to pin it to the chat as well. So if you don't know the code of conduct, make, make sure you, you check it out because they are going to be enforcing it. And it's really critical that we create a community that welcomes everyone. So let's keep it cool. And uh, I know testing community is always awesome. So just keep it to automation, keep it to testing, uh, be respectful of everyone, and that will be awesome. Will the sessions be recorded and shared later? Uh, someone in the chat will say, well, we'll post that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure they will be, but yes. So I got confirmation. The whole event will be recorded and sessions will be provided later for folks that registered. So, all right, another round of applause for that. Cool, cool. That's good news, good news. Awesome. 
All right, I get that question. Every event I ever run is, will this be recorded? So yes, it will be recorded. The sessions will be recorded and made available, but you still want to make sure you attend uh, because you get to interact with speakers. Uh, if you were to pay some of these speakers for, for consulting, you'd be paying a lot of money, but you get it for free for these three days. So make sure you participate and not just wait for those recordings because uh, that's one of the big pieces of all this, the community. So awesome. So hopefully everyone agrees with that. Like I said, this chat is blowing up. I don't mean to be distracted, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. So great, great, great thing. And like I said, the code of conduct, everyone keeps posting it in the uh, the chat. And it's, it's, it's important that you know what the code of conduct is because we want to make this an open space that is diverse and fosters inclusion throughout the event, ensuring that all voices from all walks of life contribute to shaping the future of testing. So we want to hear everyone and we thank everyone for your, your your input here as well. Hey, Netherlands, I haven't seen Netherlands yet, so I just saw someone pop in from the Netherlands. Uh, people want to know how AI affects uh, automation. Well, I'm sure there's going to definitely be sessions on that, so you want to stay tuned for it. So since I was also the member of the review panel this year, I can tell you that this year's TestMU boosts an array of engaging panel that delves into a lot of different topics, AI being one of them. Someone just asked that, but they also have sessions on uh, like removing interruptions from end-to-end -end test automation, uh, evolution of testing in the age of DevOps. I think they even have a session on managing testing landscapes and frameworks and tools for an enterprise. I like that session because a lot of people fail to address enterprise testing, which is really, really critical, especially when you do automation. So you have to deal with a lot of things other than browsers. There's a session for you if that's you, and that's one of the sessions you should definitely check out. I don't know if anyone has any favorites they see, but if you do chop Drop it in the chat what session you're excited about seeing. Uh, greetings from Earth. All right, that's the first. So we have someone from Earth here. That's awesome. So, hey, someone's from Rhode Island. I actually grew up in Rhode Island. So whoever said Rhode Island, hello. Um, I think they even said Johnston, where I'm from. But anyway, uh, let me know in the chat if you have any particular session that you're excited about. Someone from Spain. But anyway, those those are one, some of the three that first come to my mind. That I'm, I'm, uh, so someone has a uh, playwright definitely is growing and should be fun. Data science model is going to be a good one. Awesome. Houston, we have a problem with uh, with queries. I'm sorry, my chat's very tiny. I should have blew it up. So that's going to be a good session as well. Prompt engineering, great session. Absolutely. Test ops, yes. All right, so I can tell everyone's really excited as well. Uh, they also plan on having a really amazing AMA planned on decoding the future of QA and SDAT roles in the tech world, which promises really insightful discussions where you can jump in and ask your questions, anything you have around decoding the future in SDAT roles. I know a lot of people always ask me, hey, with the AI machine learning, will I have a job? Uh, yes, you will. All right, so I need to... I always don't think I can take up 15 minutes, but I have only three minutes left. So let me wrap it all up and say, uh, you know, they also have a lot of things going on besides sessions. They have a hands-on workshop on how to speed up your app development and testing journey with GitHub and Hyper Execute. That really will offer a lot of practical insights. And this year, what's really cool, they have a feature with 60 communities and industry leaders who will grace the conference stage. They're gonna deliver a lot of thought-provoking uh, talks on the hottest topics in the testing space and the insights and expertise promised to inspire all of us to new heights and in innovation and excellence. But TestMU is not just about the talks, it's about the ecosystem of ideas and interactions like we're having right now in this chat. So yay, everyone here, like I said, that's what it's all about. Uh, they also have over 40 partners actively engaging in the panel discussions and fusing the conference with a bunch of invaluable, interesting insights that's gonna shape the future of the testing practice that we all deal with. And they're gonna have participants for some of the industry giants where they aim to foster an environment that nurtures collaboration and empowers attendees to drive positive change in their respective domains. I'm really getting psyched about this. Hopefully you are too. And this year event has over 20,000 uh, like-minded professionals that get a chance to network and have community. So make sure you share your experiences, exchange ideas, uh, create connections that you could take after the event. And that's what is the cornerstone of TestMU. And this year, they're more determined than ever to provide you with an unmatched platform for meaningful interactions. And the way to have many meaningful interactions is use the chat, use the Q&A, and keep it going. So this year is packed with also an exciting contest 
two. So it's going to show off skills in the testathon where you can earn recognition through a certification marathon uh, and your automation proudness to test with the hashtag Lambda Test Your Apps Challenge. So keep your excitement going throughout the conference. They're going to have a leaderboard where active participants are going to be rewarded. You can see the leaderboard on top. So make sure you participate. And on top of all this, they're really going to have a tribute to all the unsung heroes of testing in QA, where they're going to introduce the Delta Awards for testing. And this award is going to recognize and celebrate the awesome contributions of testers and developers who play a pivotal role in ensuring the quality and reliability of this uh, ecosystem here. And also for all the people attending, hosting, and organizing, anyone participating in this event, please remember to follow the code of conduct. And in closing, I really want to extend my Hot full gratitude for all of you for bringing and being part of the TestMu conference. Together, we were going to explore the frontier of testing. So let's start it off right on this extraordinary journey with the very first session. Round of applause for the first session is the Lambdas in testing and where you should head in 2025, a vision from Pradeep and Manoj. So click on that view session and hope to see you at that next session and hope to interact with all of you in the next three days. So thank you all for having me. And See you in the uh, awesome chat in the conference networking areas.